history buffs are going to love this. Oh, this yeah. is a story of a historical home that helps to tell the story of South Texas. Talking about the Petra de la Kennedy House in Old San Patricio near Lake Corpus Christi, it's not much to look at. We'll see it here. But historians say this old house has a lot of significance. As for the Kennedy name, you're probably familiar with that, but Petra Vela, well, it turns out she was the wife of Mifflin Kennedy. In this special report, our Mike Silva has more on this home's ranching and bicultural history. <laughs> house was the Kennedy home on the Lorellis Ranch between 1869 and 1882. The ranch passed into the possession of King Ranch in 1906. The Kennedys actually owned the Lorellis Ranch, which is between Kingsville and Corpus Christi. And, uh, and uh, Captain Kennedy and uh, Petra Vela Kennedy lived on that ranch in this house for, for roughly 10 years. And then they, they moved into Corpus Christi and built a house up on the bluff. She didn't live much longer than that. So some of her happiest time in her letters we see was in this house when it was in Clayburg County um, on what is now the King Ranch. The house was used for over 100 years, first as a ranch house and later as a chapel. And then in the early 1990s, it was moved from Clayburg County to the community of San Patricio. The King Ranch did not want to uh, maintain this, the old headquarters on the Loretta's anymore. They uh, wanted to update their, their buildings and stuff. And uh, they were gonna demolish them if somebody didn't take them off the property. Oh, wow. But now efforts are underway to save the house, move it to Kingsville, restore it to its original glory, and preserve it for future generations. This is back in 1870, right? No power tools. Look how they, this notch, because this used to be tied against the siding. Look how this, uh, t they cut this by hand oh, wow. to fit. Craftsmanship back before there was electricity or power tools. Of course, they didn't have air conditioning. So they had a, windows that could open up from the floor, you know, quite a ways. That would give them a cooling effect, and I'm sure they had them on the other side where that door was, and they could open the door too. Despite undergoing some modifications throughout the years, the home is estimated to be still in about 90% of its original state. You can tell by if something stands out, uh, you know, new products versus old products. Back in the 1800s, they didn't have composition shingles and that kind of thing. They had wood shingles, which is the underlayment there, and, and uh, the old lumber that you see is full dimension. A two inch, two by four is two inches by four inches. And it's, it's amazing what has been replaced on this and what hasn't, what is original and all. The home has historical bicultural ties, and Petra Vela lived through it all. Tumultuous years. There were revolutions and wars both in Mexi both south of the border in Mexico and in Texas, and the war bet between the states and the United States. So we know those histories, but she lived those histories in her immediate family. She had family members that fought on both sides in several of those conflicts. She lost children in some of those conflicts and her legacy lives on today. Part of that legacy is on display at the Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History, where an entire room is dedicated to the Kennedys. And it's a legacy that the Petra Vela Kennedy House may help continue to live on. Mike DeSilva, 3 News. Fascinating stuff, still to come.